When you reach Chapter 2 in Red Dead Redemption 2, it opens up, giving you a lot of room to explore and do things in the amazing looking open world. There are a few things though that are totally handy to do as soon as possible, and I will share them in this video, so let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated, and let's go! It should be a habit to loot all the enemies in the environment, it's a nice way to get new ammo as well, but you also want to carry as much as you can, so you'll never run out of it during a gunfight. That's why I totally recommend that you spend some of your hard-earned cash on accessories for your guns so you can carry more ammo with you. You can find them at the gunsmith and also the accessory that slows down the degradation so you don't have to clean your weapon all the time. These upgrades are not pricey and handy throughout the whole game so totally get them as soon as possible. And when we're at the gunsmith I totally recommend that you also get some gun oil so you can clean your gun whenever you want so you can always use it to the fullest potential. Other items that are nice to get this one is at the general store is the horse revival so you can always resurrect your horse when it dies. I mean sometimes stuff like this happens and you don't want to have a dead horse because then you lose it for good. For only $10 this potion that lets you refive your horse is yours so totally grab it at the general store. But yeah of course you need some gold in order to buy everything I just noted. Well there's actually a really nice spot for early money you can find over here on the map near the camp in chapter 2. It's a burnt out village and there is a golden bar hidden in the sheriff's office so totally go there and grab it. You can sell it at a regular store though you need to go to a fence that is highlighted on the map because these guys buy your stolen goods. If you already played for some hours then you likely already unlocked one of these fan doors. It's open after the second mission with Jose in chapter 2 and can be reached all the time in Emerald Ranch. Make sure that you don't have a high bounty though because then in my experience I could not talk to this guy when I had a lot of money on my head. You can of course pay your bounty at the post office or at a train station to get rid of it. So yes then totally sell the golden bar there and the other things you found throughout the game to get some nice money. And that will also come in handy for the fast travel option you can unlock at your camp. You can do this at the ledger and then when you have this book open you need to upgrade to lodgings. So first Dutch's tent and then your own tent. But before you are able to access this you need to complete the money landing and other sins story mission in chapter 2 that opens up after you already completed some main story missions in this chapter. Collect the money from the people that have a debt and after you completed it you can upgrade the lodgings at your camp. Once you've paid for the two upgrades just go to Arthur's place to find a map and now you can fast travel to every village you already visited and go there with your horse so that is really nice indeed. Other ways to fast travel are of course at the stagecoaches and also at the train stations. So for a small fee you can then go to the big cities that also have these train stations. It's nice and pretty quick as well. You will be mostly using your horse though so that's why I also recommend some nice things for him or her that will help you during your travels. The saddle is great to buy for sure, totally go for the most expensive one at Valentine. For 16% regenerate so you get back your stamina faster and also your core drain for both your stamina and your health is way lower. You can also equip the stirrups that increase your overall speed and acceleration for your horse. But you have to have a horse that is able to increase its speed and acceleration by two in this case. But totally get the stirrups that get your speed and acceleration to the maximum so it will be way faster from point A to point B. I will also have some nice horse tips up on the channel really really soon so keep an eye out for that. And you can by the way see the stats in the player selection and then go to horse. Here you can also see your bonding level for example so you know how much XP you need for the next level. Want to see that progression outside of the game? They can always get the app for iOS or Android. I put a link to the Red Dead Redemption 2 companion app in the description down below. But you can also find it by searching RDR2 in the search bar in the App Store or the Google Play Store. And it has some pretty neat features like also a real-time map so you can put a waypoint that will then appear in the game. You can find special points of interest and stuff like that. So totally recommend it. It's a really nice tool to have. Subscribe for everything Red Dead Redemption 2 if you haven't already. I got a ton of awesome videos planned that will release daily. And I got already some interesting videos on the channel as well. Like my video with amazing gear you totally want to collect. Or a cool sword you can find in the world. Drop a like to support the channel. I will speak to you next time and goodbye.